Welcome to the channel, everyone. I am going to show you how you can speed up your clips or slow them down in CapCut. There might be a reason you might need to make a clip faster just to make it look cooler or to slow it down. And I'm going to show you exactly how you could do that on CapCut because apparently a lot of people don't know that this feature is available, which is so amazing. So if you've been looking to speed up your clips or slow them down and you've been trying to figure it out, well, guess what? You are in luck. Stick with me, let's dive in. All right, so what we're actually gonna do here is use a dancing clip. As you can see here, I am in CapCut, and if you've never used CapCut before, this is CapCut on the browser. What you wanna do before you can do all this is create an account, make sure you log in, and then you'll be able to see the dashboard where you can go to the elements over here. Now, if you are logged into CapCut, you will see that this is the timeline and there's nothing over here. You have the opportunity, one, two, Go to your media, upload your media and put it in here. And once you upload your media, it's gonna open up your folder on your computer. You can select the media file you want to go in the CapCut. These are all the ones I've selected and put in here. And once you upload, it comes in here. And once you select that clip, it automatically goes into your timeline. But I am gonna use a dancing clip. Why? Because I want you to be able to see the movements happen to see how quick they can be or how slow they can be based on that. And a good way to show that is through dance. So how can we import clips that are not ours that we could search for on CapCut? You simply go to the elements and search for your keyword and here as you can see it says dancing i've searched dancing here so i'm just going to pick the first one that pops up here so here is a lady dancing or a couple ladies dancing is what i should say so as you can see here this is the clip moving normally and if you notice it's already in slow-mo and if i'm going here let's say i have a, a song that i want to put under here and i want it to move faster you know I'm just wondering how I could do that. Well, it's very simple. All you need to do is go to select the clip and then go to the right here and look for where it says speed. So as you can see here, now, as you can see, it says speed is at one times X, which means that's one times one, that's normal, which means this is the normal speed of the clip you have put in there. Anytime you see one X, that's what that means. Now, if I were to move this to 1.5, 1.6, you see I could go all the way, 2.7. Now, what we're doing here is we've sped it up 2.8 times, right? Now, I'm going to start this clip again, and I'm going to play it so you could see how faster they are now. So, as you can see that, if I had a, a beat that I wanted to put under here, and the beat was going this way, now I could speed it up so that it matches that. As you can see, it's bouncing to that. If my beat was like boom, boom boom so i'm going to do that again boom 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 you see that it moves it flows with it so i can make that adjustment now here's also the thing is if i wanted to slow it down you see here this is one x this is again this is where you are normally if i wanted to slow it down then i could drag it the other way and as you can see here 0.1 x now you'll notice that every time you speed up the clip here or you slow it down you will notice that your timeline the clip always moves in your timeline it's making it faster it's making it slower so in this instance when i slow it down you'll notice the clip starts to get longer because it's pretty much stretching out the video so here we're going to play now you can see that it's extra extra slow compared to when we first watched it which you might want to use in a video clip maybe as an overlay as a b-roll you know just for it to go there so depending on what you want to do you figure it out that hey you can do that and the good thing too is it gives you the opportunity to do the duration per second and you can also work on the pitch now there's no volume here so if i were to put one that has a volume here so we're going to add one of our clips now that has a volume let's go into our media file here so i'm just going to add this clip here and we're going to play it welcome to your 60 second master class on b2b leap you hear that now what we're going to do is again go to speed right and now we're going to speed it up five times two times and now you're going to hear you hear that so one thing to be aware of is it affects the voice, it affects the pitch, you know? So you want to be totally aware of that, that when you are speeding it up, that's what happens. So you also have other features here to be able to do that. You could do different ways that you can actually speed it up 
smooth slow-mo as you can see it gives you a curve it gets a little technical there but those are also the options that you have welcome to your 60 second master class but as on you can B2B see there lead generation strategy those are the different ways the main thing to take away is that you can do different types of speeds curves you know look at all that here on cap cut on the browser but a very simple way, if you just wanted your clip to go on like a music video or B-roll, it's very simple. All you do is import the clip and adjust the speeds right under the icon for speed over here. And just know that one times X is the normal speed. Anything above it gets it faster. Anything below it gets it slower and you can adjust the duration that you want the speed to be at. So if I go over here and just give it at one times again, you will see that we will be at normal I'm speed. In. First, content marketing is- But if I adjust the duration, let's say I'm gonna put the duration here at 12 seconds. Let's see what happens. Look at that. 12 seconds shows that it's four times one and it's gonna speed up again. So you can adjust it whether, you can make your adjustments, whether it's through duration or the speech, you know, these are just things to take note of. And you can see here that you can also work on the pitch. See that? Those are ways to be able to do that in CapCut that I'm not sure you really knew about. Really, really awesome ways. So I hope this was helpful. If it is, like the video, subscribe to our channel so you can always get helpful content that just makes your life easier. Till next time, take care.